Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 18. This training tutorial, we're gonna take a look at setting our ignition sync, checking our ignition timing with a timing light using our NSP software. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at how we can set our ignition timing sync with a timing light with our Haltech Elite using our NSP software. This is one of the most basic things that we need to do before we fire up our engine and start any calibrating and tuning. We can do this in the cranking state as well as when the engine is running. We can just verify everything is gonna be 100%. This process is very, very straightforward and you wanna do it regardless of whatever engine you're tuning and regardless of really whatever standalone or engine management you're working with. It's not really necessarily Haltech specific, but what we're gonna be getting into here is how we can check our timing with a timing light using our Elite with the NSP software. Let's jump in here and take a look at the few variables that we need to worry about for this tutorial. You do need to have a timing light and you do need to be able to uh, have someone either crank over the engine or create a jumper lead to hit your starter under just cranking conditions so you can actually control the cranking and you can hold the timing light and uh, being able to do this process I'm gonna be outlining here. So I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Let's jump in and take a look at what we need to worry about here for this tutorial. So we know we've set up our cam and crank configurations uh, in the last two tutorials. This is kind of capping and rounding out all of the details we need to know for setting up cam and crank patterns. The TDC angle is going to be found in the navigation tree under the engine configuration section, specifically the trigger section here. So if we go to our navigation tree, we jump here to main under our trigger system. This is where we set all of our trigger details. Now the vehicle I'm working with here for this demonstration is a 1996 Honda Civic CX base model non-VTEC D16 engine. So just uh, most basic engine you probably could work with. We need to go in and set what's known here as our TDC angle. Now, this right here is set in the base map for a B16 engine. This is what Haltech supplies for their uh, plug and play harness, which is what I'm working with here for this vehicle, 445 degrees. Now that may not be correct for my engine, but it does allow my engine to fire up and run. Now, what does this mean? What does this TDC angle actually mean? This is gonna be where the Haltech will reference the number one cylinder position in the movement and the auto cycle. We need to make sure that this is synced correctly so when the engine is rotating in terms of degrees of movement, the Haltech can interpret that properly. Things like injection timing or our spark timing rely on us knowing where the engine's position's at within the auto cycle. So this trigger angle or this TDC angle here is incredibly important. It needs to be synced right. If we're way out, the engine won't even run. We could actually find that we're trying to fire off the engine on the exhaust stroke. You could get popping and banging out of the engine because you don't have your TDC angle right. So this is something very specific that is going to have to be set. Um, we want to make sure that we've accounted for other details, trigger and home signal details, uh, the sensor type, the edges. We know we can use the oscilloscope to kind of work that out. This is going to be the next thing we need to work out here. So let's assume you haven't fired up your engine yet. What we need to first do is turn off the fuel injectors. We want to check our TDC angle under cranking conditions. So we have to do a couple of different things here. Let's first turn off the injectors because we're going to be cranking it over a decent amount. We don't want the engine to flood with fuel or wash out the cylinder. So we're going to go here to disable injectors and we're going to just do a quick reboot so that change takes to the Haltech. Next, we're going to go down here under our ignition tuning option. Here, we're going to put ourselves into the lock mode. This is going to be locking your ignition timing. So we have our spark timing table, which we haven't talked about yet. We have our spark timing table that commands our spark timing. We have our sub-modified tables that will alter the spark timing. We have a cranking table that specifies the cranking spark timing. Spark timing is where we want to fire off our spark plug within the auto cycle. So it's usually very specific of where we want that combustion event to happen at. Now when we're trying to set up something like our TDC offset angle, we need to lock our timing at a fixed point because we can very easily jump 10, 20, 30 degrees of this ignition timing, and we're not gonna be able to track what's going on between what the Haltech's commanding and looking at what's going on on a crank balancer with a timing light. So we wanna lock our timing down. The easiest way to do this under cranking is to move in here to our ignition tuning under the main and lock our timing here. So we're gonna to go to always on. Now, when we do this, the firing angle it's gonna lock our timing at. So the actual spark timing is gonna always command. This is gonna be what we place in this value right here. I'm gonna go change this to zero degrees or TDC. This is gonna allow me to shoot my timing light at my crank balancer, specifically at the top dead center mark. Now, every vehicle is going to be different in terms of the balancer marks on the crank balancer. 
No. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.